Now I'm just going to pop in some details. I'm just sitting on the runway at the moment. This is my 20th flight. I think the stream should be up and live now. Uh, I haven't had a message from a Denzel, so I'm just going to get going without him. I'm sure he'll be around sometime. Oh, noise. Suppression's not on. Let me turn that on. Okay. Alright. So, it's not right there. Yep, thank you. Press save. Hopefully that actually saved at this time. Yes, it did. Okay, very good. Okay, so it's ready to fly. Oh, I have to start to everything join. up. You can join me. I am on a parking ramp. I will also be eating my healthy, hearty uh, porridge for breakfast. Give me. So where are you taking off from? I can just look it back at your stream. Um, have a look in the um, streaming events. It tells you the actual airport codes. WSSS. Oh, yep. Okay. Yep, I see it. We're getting a pushback, are we? Oh, I could have turned there. Okay. I'm gonna use a spit fire. Alright, so we're doing the full pushback thing here at the moment. I'm on live weather, live traffic, live everything. So if you want to um, want me to be able to see you. Okay, this person just went right in through the, the propellers. West USA. West USA, but everything has to be live. So yep. you can't you can't just uh there's Qantas flight over Whoa. there. And Air France. That's a big airport. Yeah it is. You can't know what gate you spawned on? Um not a gate. Parking. Closest to 2B, okay. so feel free to park in one of these ones here near runway two. Runway two's down there, and that's where I'll be taking off, I believe. Yeah, I'm not looking at your stream yet. Okay. Alright, what are you guys doing? What plane are you taking? Um ah. this is my weekly or bi weekly Cessna two oh eight B flight so i'm going from tasmania to london whoa so it's a long flight so this is uh from singapore to phuket details are in the streaming events on my discord i have two watches welcome excuse me while i eat and have coffee but i didn't get a meal on the concord I look back at Singapore ground, red place, 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 Okay. If you look on the map, you should be able to see me. Oh, no. It doesn't show you on my maps, but it shows oh. you when I'm actually coming in. Okay. Okay. Loading now. Oh, God. I almost fell off the chair. Alright, let's just turn this around. I'm looking forward to VR when that comes out. Okay. I will be able to chat to you guys, but I won't be able to. Uh... Wait, I gotta go out this way. Okay, but I got a fuel truck in the way. I got VR a lighting storm here. I won't be able to see you guys VR chat. I've seen other people with their stream chat 
in VR, so I think I you have. can do it. Uh, you look down, but I don't know whether they're using uh, OBS for that or not. I might end up having to use that. Okay. Is asking like you if the goose is considered a caravan. Um. Right, okay. where's that? The goose is not a caravan. The goose. Uh, oh wait. Oh there, loading okay, up. Is oh, the yeah. goose considered a caravan? No, but there is a caravan default in Microsoft Flight Sim. If you choose that, it means you can use your autopilot and everything, the same as me. So it's got all the instrumentation that you can see in front of me. And it's retro Yeti. Message retracted. Okay. Alright. Now I'm going to be uh, having my coffee because uh, Concorde didn't supply a meal for the uh, pilot and the, the flight was actually quite short. How long was that Concorde flight that I did this morning, I wonder? I'm gonna just go behind. Uh, must be still uploading. Oops, I should actually uh, watch where I'm going here. You're taxing very fast. Yeah, yeah, I, I'd even turn my prop pitch right down to try and not do that, but you've, you've almost got to be riding those brakes all the time. So you behind me? Oh, you are. What are you in? Mustang? No. Spitfire. Okay. I am using a considerable amount more fuel this time. I've got an 80% fuel tank. Just in case I don't have to uh, divert. Excuse me while I just scratch near the microphone. Oh, I'm getting wind blowing me. Let's see if I can use two hands here. No further messages. Now, I did have it set up so that uh, I could see how many viewers were on the screen, but uh, that's alright, didn't pop up. I think a Spitfire is overtaking me here. You thought I was going fast. <laughs> Don't hit the brakes so hard. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Even more so when it's like on stream in front of everybody. But you get to watch yourself on, on uh, I replay. Think... Am I what? Recording? Yeah, I'm, I'm streaming. Huh? We're live. Yeah, I'm breaking. I'm breaking with an Xbox controller. Oh, yeah, that's a bit hard. Now, if you hear me eating, uh -huh. um, that's because I've... Uh, Decided to go and grab some breakfast. All right, joining you guys right now. Okay, cool. Ira. Okay. Singapore Tower. Oh shoot! Stop! 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 Yeah, I'm. I'm doing this the right way here. I'm asking for permission to actually take off. I'm going to put my front wheel right on it. Okay, thank you. Cleared for takeoff. Runway two Cleared for takeoff. of the plane. That's pretty cool. Whoa, this is very detailed. Uh, you're talking about the uh, Spitfire? Yeah. Watch out, you don't yeah. go over there. Alright. So what we need is some uh, takeoff music. Those who watched this uh, stream before will recognize this as my starting music for the
the uh, Grand Caravan Atua. This would help to actually turn my propeller pitch to go. We got a retro Yeti and I got an Ira coming in somewhere. Gotta be on live everything, Ira. So live weather, live traffic, live um, players. Otherwise I won't see you. So make sure you've actually done that. Oh my so god, another another patch. Yes, there was a patch this morning before my uh, upload for the Concord. Well, I have lent. I've <laughs> gone over the airport. Whoops. Singapore Tower Brett plays Bravo Papa Two Zero. Continue for North Departure. I always get afraid of this patch. It's like weird time and then one comes out. Ah, uh, what's it gonna do? Oh. Yeah. I'm afraid of you. Just bring that back a bit. I was uh, pushing that to the max. Now we are climbing quite well. I am going to turn more into the um, flight path. Right, which one is my navigate button? It's going the wrong way. Is it this one? Alright. So it's asking me to fly, it's sending me the wrong way. Why? Thank you, but my fly path is actually this way. See what the uh, new patches have done. All right, welcome to Singapore. See you later, Singapore. So I've got uh, Marcelo, who I may actually give a hand today, trying to get some uh, things working on his uh, bringing in textures. I've got uh, Potent, who doesn't actually talk, is mute. Potent, an Aya. Aya, are you? You're not the same as Potent, are you? You have a different nickname. Fan Five Games or something, is it? Oh, that lighting right smack in front of my eyes there. Okay. So, I will... Autopilot. Well, Nav. Apparently, in the patch notes, they said the uh, autopilot has been fixed because they uh, had some issues. I've said that a few times. So, I just turned on my what? nav and I'm now doing a circle around the wrong way. Singapore approach, Brett plays Bravo, Papa 2 0. No. No. Clearance to transition Charlie airspace. It's turning me the opposite direction of my. Nav line. Why? Don't tell me it's bugged. Trying to send me to the end of the uh, end of the runway. Try an eighty five hundred. Singapore approach, red place, Bravo, pop in two zero, three thousand four hundred feet. Red place, Bravo, pop a two zero, Singapore approach, continuous plan. Altimeter two nine. Oh gosh, this patch is taking forever to make the press. Almost five. Altimeter two nine a decimal eight zero. I 
Okay, autopilot's putting me on the uh, flight path, but if I press nav, it was sending me to, I think, my departure point. Oh, that's weird. Oh, IR is potent. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm trying to work out, because everybody's got different names on YouTube than they do in Discord. And sometimes different in, um... Microsoft Flight Sim as well. So I'm trying to do the same name across all of them, which is Tasmanite. If you want to add me, you can. Alright, so what am I doing? I'm sitting at 3500. I'm not climbing. Also going a little bit fast there. Yep. Okay, so autopilot's not getting me on the nav line. So I should be able to press the nav line and it just gets me straight back on it. Please. But don't turn around. Don't turn around. Yeah, something's wrong with the nav. Can't seem to pick a line. Well, that's annoying. You supposedly fix one thing and then you, you muck up another. All right, Singapore. Yep. See you later. Oh, wait, we've got our uh, landing lights on. All right, so I need to climb going to do a trip. Red place, Bravo, Papa, two, zero, Flying Bravo, Papa, two, zero. Going to 124.05, Red Place, Bravo, Papa, two, zero. Singapore approach, Red Place, Bravo, Papa, two, zero, 3,500 feet. Yeah, we we want to climb here. I want to get I want to get a bit higher than this. So I got the Nature Air uh, bird livery today. It's quite nice. Look at the moon out in front of us. That looks pretty cool. Sunrise just behind us. See you, Singapore. Just give me while I clear my throat there. Whoops, where's my, there we go, trimmed back to normal. Okay, thank you. Maybe we'll sit around the 5,000 for now. Seems quite nice, you could be able to see the, uh, what's going on down there. So they do keep changing autopilot with this, supposedly fixing it. 5,000, thank you. You hold that. Excuse me while I finish my breakfast. I think the uh, nav point's a bit out. Maybe because I'm using the one on my. Uh, joystick that I set up for N1. Oh, we got a bit of a freeze there. Two frames per second for a second. Wow. I think this is going to turn me all the way around. It is. It's trying to turn me all the way around. I'm going to have to use the heading nav because the nav is screwed up. 
we should be going to VTSP at 320 degrees. Which is a good turn this way. And autopilot doesn't want to let me. Have to turn that off. Now I did see uh, on the way there is Lankawi Island. I know my father and uh, stepmom went there uh, beginning of this year or end of last year. I can't remember when it was actually now. And uh, I thought about landing there, but we're going to fly pretty much over it. Okay, let's bring that back in. So having a little bit of trouble with the autopilot today. Set on heading. It's, uh, uh, what have I got that heading set at? Where is that? Paralyzing on Phuket. Phuket. Uh, yeah. Three two zero. That's I think. Three two zero. Thank you. Phuket, yeah, yeah, it's a uh, holiday resort island. All right, pretty much. All right, so flying on live water. Live everything. All right. So the only way you're going to see me, all right, I'm going to bring this back to three one nine in order to get back on that line. Since the nav is not working, so we're going to have to do this manually today. All right. So how's that Spitfire going? Catch up. Um, You're getting nice, nice level flight there. Or you, there's no autopilot on that thing though. Should get yourself a caravan. Wow, look at the land down there. Look at those farms look like they're made on like carpet or something. With all the wrinkles underneath it. Like when you throw the sheet over the bed and there's wrinkles. You gotta smooth it all out, but they just make their farms awesome. Sunrise over Singapore. Goodbye, Singapore. All right, here comes a Spitfire who's jumping up really quickly. Where's Potent? Can't see Potent. You got to be on live weather, live plays, live everything in order for me to be able to see you. Uh, for this particular flight, the caravan, I do everything on live. Hopefully you can hear me. Alright, let's get an outside view. Bring the Spitfire in nice and close. Isn't this sim just awesome? Like, it just looks so amazing. Alright, here comes an incoming Spitfire. Okay, he's definitely going for it now. I think... Put this back in here as well so they match. Uh, I think I'm actually, oh no, 70% throttle. Wait, lever 70%, yeah, 87% throttle. We might actually bring some of that back. Do Genesee the P51. Pardon? Genesee the P51. P51, yeah, you can bring a P51 if you want to. No, but uh, I'm right behind you. Can you see me? Oh! Are you on live? Live Everything? Players? Yeah, I'm seeing you. Uh, okay, I'm I can't see you. you. I'm gonna ju just do a flyby. Let me just see. Yeah, no, no name tag. What you sometimes have to do though is make sure you click live players twice because it still shows up all players being clicked. At least that's what I've found. Alright, we are flying on the path now, but we need to bring that to 320. Thank you. Alright, I just have, did a flyby. Might have actually just taken that off the path. No, I don't see you. Um, oh, wait, somebody just went over the top. Nice no, retro Yeti. Yeah, I'm gonna press it, live everything. 
Yeah, I, sometimes you got to press it a bunch of times just to get it to work. Which is kind of annoying. I definitely got a Spitfire who's using up all his fuel. You may need to get air-to-air uh, -air refueling there or land at a local airport and top up. Well, the KC-135 worked its tail. We <laughs> can make an air refueling. Uh. Yeah, Retro, bring it in nice and close, nice and, nice and easy. Let's get a good shot of that. Hey, Maverick's behind me now. Okay. Wait, I'm not any of you guys. Alright. Alright, there he is. Bring it in. Tuck him in. That's the way. Oh, that does sound good. That's the P-51. And here comes the yep. uh, Spitfire. You know, one off each wing. That's the way. There's another plane up there to our uh, right. Probably a generic. I don't know, here's some pipes. Or break speed on this thing. Very nice. So I'm being escorted on my uh, caravan flight by a Spitfire and a P-51 out of Singapore. Very cool. Oh, he's going up. Bit hard to get in and uh, stay level, isn't it? <laughs> well, I don't know. The P-51 has an autopilot. Probably not. Neither an out to hope. Nope. No, no, it wouldn't. Just a two-wheel plane, but legendary nonetheless. That's pretty cool. Almost need to take the name tags off so that uh, it looks even cooler. P-51, you got nice level flight, but you're a little bit behind. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to catch up. All right. Actually, I'm going to spray all forward. Uh, Retro Yetis having a little trouble keeping that uh, Spitfire level. Probably get yeah, a little bit of I, I, I a little wind flaps. Yeah, well, if you're probably going to go a lot slower. 5,000 feet, that's me, thank you. <laughs> Retro Yeti up and down, up and down. You'll get it. There you go. Nice and smooth. Wow, look at this great big uh, green land down there. You can see him alright. Now where's Potent? Can't see you. Make sure you're actually on live, live and live. So all things are live. It's the P-51 I can hear really loud. The uh, Spitfire not so loud. The P-51's got a definite sound to it. Let's see if I we can... So. If I can take the drone back. Nice and green here, very lush. We're over Malaysia now, I think. Can't get any closer to the uh, P-51 there. I'm going to bring it forward. I can 
check out the Spitfire. Except he keeps climbing up and down. There's a Spitfire, nice and close. Very nice. You can hear that P-51 coming in. There it is. Alright, let's bring the camera in on that one. Oops, he got so close he went invisible. No, we don't see you. I right, make sure that you clicked on live players, live weather, and live traffic when you load in. You had to actually do all that, otherwise I can't see you. So I've turned off just all players. I put on live players. So it's only people who have everything on live. It's kind of like a uh, setting that you don't see everybody else. And I only do it for this particular uh, flight, the, the um, caravan. Jacob! Oh, does it look boring? Mate, this is my around the world flight. If it's not as spectacular as jets or, or big things or the Concorde, uh, look, I'm sorry about that, but this is just the one I'm doing at the moment. I started doing this as soon as Flight Sim came out. This is my 20th flight. But if you're not into this, you're into uh, mucking around, well, I'll have one on Sunday morning, so Saturday afternoon or evening for everybody else. We'll be doing the Antonov flying and we'll probably do some uh, cargo runs, a bit of muck around stuff. Come back and have a look at that one then. Okay, now you're nice and close. I do like those uh, P-51s. I like the game and the concept, but just flying in a straight line for, for so long would kill me. That's why it's good to have other people with you. But, you know what? That's what a lot of pilots are doing, real pilots. So what I might do is I might actually just pop this back around and get inside and see if I can see you guys. Nope. No, not if you're actually behind me, I won't. So yeah, flying to different places, landing, mucking around, going down the Grand Canyon and that type of stuff, that's all cool. And I do do that. Did it yesterday. Wait, I lost the Spitfire. You go on. Okay. But this, this one is actually to do with a journey. So this is from Tasmania to the UK. Alright, EU. So that's potent, isn't it? And that's why, Jacob, sometimes it's good to actually fly with other people. Yeah, have a bit of fun. Have some talk. Have some banter. Get to see the world. All right. What do we? What is? E, I'm gonna do a EU. Flyby. EU has, I think, the caravan. Uh, yep. Very cool. So I'm using the. Okay, you're doing a, a barrel roll flyby. Okay. Good boy, invite Mr. to the group. And you mean invite me to the group? Okay, you've got to be on live weather, live traffic, live everything in order to see us. Because I'm using a default plane in real weather, I want to actually have everything on live. So if you want to join me, you got to do everything on the left side, live, live and live. And while I'm doing this, let's go and have a read and see what this nature air tails are all about. Whoops. Let's see if I can actually get down to the back of my uh, plane. So, whoa. I got another plane buzzing by. So this is the skin that I'm using, the, the livery. 
Nature Air crashed on takeoff from Punta Isleta in Costa Rica on December 31, 2017. Ten passengers, uh, all from the USA, and crew two members. The aircraft crashed and burned in wooded area on board, died and crashed. Oh no. Uh, the aircraft was bound for San Jose. It was painted in one of the distinct original tiles. Right, so these are the tiles I've got. So I've got the city, I've got the bird, I've got the animal, and I've got the uh, ocean. But you don't have the others, maybe because that's what uh, the one that crashed. So, good boy, if you actually want to join us, you actually do have to be in live everything. Jim Jam, this game has the best graphics ever. <laughs> I'm getting when it comes to Xbox. Yeah, I'm hoping that Xbox actually does look good as well. Um, but it is amazing. And I'll tell you what, even if Xbox has to run on only high Hello. levels... Hello? Yep, thank you, mute. Um, I'm now, I've changed to, I'm actually running in 4K, but I've changed down to high instead of ultra. Because the more I added, the more, and the more patches that came out, the more difficult it was to uh, run smoothly. Um... It's already on Xbox Game Pass. Is that for, but that's Xbox Game Pass for PC. Not Xbox for an Xbox console. Something to do with uh, DirectX 12 they're waiting for. Got Maverick doing any circles around there. Alright. EU, nice and close. Very good. What livery did you end up picking? The default one, or did you pick a Nature Air, or what do we got? Let's have a look. Come over and check you out. It's got a Nature Air City. Oh, that is awesome. Love it. So we got two Nature Airs. Very good. Yep, yeah, bring it in nice and close. I am on, uh, actually, let's have a look. Oh, not that one. I am probably actually out, out here. 85% engine, but I have turned down my propeller pitch just a fraction and turned down my mixture just a bit. It's on Game Pass for PC. Yeah, for PC it is. But if you want it for Xbox console, I think they are waiting for some DirectX 12 thing to be finalized and released. So I don't know if it's actually out just yet and I don't know With whether speed, my airspeed uh, 181 true airspeed so I'm sitting at 5000 and I'm doing 166 in the air so true airspeed what did I say 181 That's yeah, cool cinematics it has on this. So I'm currently using an Xbox One controller to control the camera. So moving around like this. Oh, lightning happening. So sorry, Jacob, if you're still watching, uh, and if it's not for you, um, look, this is what a lot of flying is about. All the flying through the gullies and and mucking around stuff, well, you know, that's not, not like normal flight happens, but I will do those as well, because I like to muck around as well, but I also like to do some more realistic, true flying, and I also get to see what it's like, I mean, I would never have seen this, look at that village down there, that's interesting, it's like, almost like a village out in, in kind of in the middle of nowhere. Sounds like we've got uh, thunderstorms. So I think I lost someone. Might have had to go. Did hear some talking going on and then disappeared. Look at that Mustang. Very nice. 
We should do some uh, Mustang propeller plane ones for flying. Mustang Spitfires yeah. and uh, my uh, P40. Who could even take some Japanese Zeros? Haven't got one that works very well. I've got a J2M2, or M3. But the A6 Japanese Zero, um, there's only a, almost a static one. It doesn't have a very good flight model. But everything else uh, seems to be old and doesn't work, which is a bit of a shame. When I say old, I mean flights in 2004, and they don't port in very well. The plane that I'm looking forward to coming over to an SFS in 20 is the F-984. The which? F-984 was used by a U.S. Air Force in the 50s, early 50s. F-A-4? 984. 984? No. Uh, F-94. Oh, F-94. Yep. Sorry, was you guys are too... The Air Force. You guys were too loud there, I couldn't actually hear. You know what, I'm going to use the mouse. That's why we use headsets. Yeah, I couldn't... There you are. Okay, got planes out my left wing there. So looking from inside. But it would be actually nice if, if we could uh, customize our helmets and headsets on the sim. Or pilots. A little bit more than what we have. I did change to... Wait, what's happening? Oh. So I've been handed off to Kuala Lumpur. Okay. We do my altimeter. Wait, am I flying? I've flown right off path, haven't I? Someone heading. I need to put the nav back on. I have not been following. I've been too busy talking to you guys and not realise that. Okay, I'm actually. All right, I am heading the right direction, but I'm not on the flight line. Wow, somebody's noisy behind me. Oh, is that the Mustang? Well, okay. Uh, hang on, I'm not using heading, am I? Why is my nav not working? Alright, what do we got? There we go. I changed my nav, that's why. Okay, that'll get me back on the line, so I'm going to do a bit of a bank. I'm hoping it doesn't turn me around again. Oh, that's nice. Everybody's formed in. Very good. Alright, so I'm just going to get back on the purple line. It should actually straighten up. <laughs> Maverick doing circles. Is your fuel going down in that uh, P-51? Yep, I'll have to add some more. Yeah, or you can find a quick airport to land on and... and nah, uh, I prefer to just... Top it up and keep going? The, <laughs> yeah, do, do the... Do the cheats way. way. Arcade yeah. way, yeah, that's the way. It's not cheats, it's called arcade. There's yeah. a difference there. Alright, finish the coffee, move to some water, I've got to keep rehydrated. My awesome brother has uh, given me a uh, chiller, well, uh, like a little mini fridge type thing for drinks. Still no 109s. Oh, sorry Eric, I haven't looked for a 109. But I'll tell you what, while we're sitting here watching these guys fly around, I'm going to look for a FSX 109. Mr. Schmidt, store has one on Steam. Okay, no, just flight. You gotta pay for that one. Flyaway simulations, that'll be a freebie. What I'll do is I'll just bring this page out so that I still see if you're chatting there. Sad face. No. <laughs> oh. Hang on, hang on. Let me see what we're going to find. Uh, it's a repaint for a payware. No, that one's not going to do me any good. 
The problem with popular planes is they are often um, they're often payware. I did some looking myself, but uh, could not find anything. No. Um, that's probably why the word freeware was in that search. So maybe I should actually add the word freeware. There we go. Free. Uh, there's definitely skins. Okay, fsfreeware.net has a BF109H. See if that actually is a repaint or is the real thing. Okay, it talks about blah blah blah. You don't know. It, it might work. It might not work. Um, small number. Is this is the H model. Well, we'll download that. Man, that uh, Mustang is pretty loud. Alright, I'm going to download that one, Eric. We'll see how that goes. Can't guarantee anything. Oh, wait, is it going to muck up? Oh, it's one of those you have to use uh, a different download, a, da a different uh, web browser than Google because it blocks it. So, let's pop a Microsoft Edge up here. see if that'll let me download it. Not the ideal, but sometimes you've got to do something like that. Okay, yep, that one downloads. 10 meg. Okay, man, your plane is really loud. <laughs> Alright. EU's trying to get in on a nice close formation there. Doing well. So, I'm going to get in behind again just see if my plane is now okay that was actually in front back on flight path oh it helps to click your GPS doesn't it yeah we are all right so I actually fixed my navigation so this will show you where we're going as well so we're actually going to head up past Malaysia across a land and Cowie Island which I think is this one here and into Phuket I'll leave that there so people can see it. Okay, don't press that, that turns it. Let's have a look around. Oh, nice close formation there. Still don't know what to call you. Got E E U E E E U E E E U or potent on uh, my Discord. Okay, how do I close that? Thank you. So close, it went invisible. I hear that P-51 giving a good climb there somewhere. You, E E E U. How do you pronounce it, Eric? Ooh. Ooh. Alright, that'll do. But he's potent in uh, my Discord, so he's got different names. And he's ire in uh, YouTube, so... It happens. People get different names. Now, the sun certainly come up and it's gotten behind some cloud there. That actually looks quite nice. What have we got coming up? We are heading west, but we're not going fast enough like in the Concorde that we were this morning on the stream, that the sun wouldn't be up high enough to shine. But we do have a bit of cloud and weather in front. I might actually see if... Dang. Uh, you know, I might actually increase altitude... Uh, I might try 8,000 here. Oh, hang on, too high, thank you. Now, can I vertical speed that? Too high. No, it will 
climb. No. I know that the FLC won't be able to go that high that quick. Alright, so, but if I put in a couple, it'll climb. I am going to run that up. I'm going to get up there actually quicker myself manually. Because we're going to get ourselves into weather here. Looking ahead, what's coming. So I am going to climb this. So everybody else is behind me. Yep. Planning on doing flight over the Atlantic Ocean. Do you mean like in the Concorde? When I flew from London to New York? I did actually do that and I recorded it, not uh, streamed it. Um, so that one was a 4K video that I u uploaded. Wow, that P51 is just so meaty sound. So if you look back through my um, playlist, Eric, you'll actually see that I did the Concorde. Uh, two hours, 23 minutes, New York, sorry, from London to New York. Although I I kind of cheated by flying straight over the land at Mark II, so there's no way the real thing would do that. You did a Philadelphia to Lisbon. Lisbon is in is that in Ireland? Where's Lisbon? You have to let me know. For me, it took an entire day. <laughs> yes. I, I Okay, the Concorde said... That's in Portugal. All oh, right, yes. Now I know it. Um, what were you flying, though? Good boy says, slow down. I'm trying to catch up. I'm doing 155 knots. I suggest you... Slew forward, but I'm going to get up to 8,000. So I am slowed down to 151 knots as I climb. Where are you? So I can't see you, good boy. You've got to actually have live plays, live traffic, live weather. Otherwise, I can't see you. So make sure you've got all that. How do I slew forward? You press Y on the keyboard, and then you use your numpad to go forward and backwards and F1 through 2, 3 and 4 to go up and down different levels. Um, make sure your numpad's on so that it goes forward and backwards. But also I can't see you if you've just taken off from WSS I could not actually see you in name tags. Uh, make sure you're on live players, live weather, live traffic. So everything live for this. We, we want the same storm for everybody. Uh, did some stops in Bermuda and some other islands uh, mid-Atlantic. Uh, In-game private jet. Okay. Oh, I just got buzzed over then. Saw that one. Alright, we're meeting our 8,000 now. Yep, we can put that pilot back on and hold altitude. And it's diving. Why are you diving? Excuse me. Why did you think it would be okay to dive there? Alright, I have to reset that altitude hold meter. Maybe that's why. Yeah, probably. Alright, we get back on a flight path. Uh, Eric says, did some stop, -up. yep, uh, had some proper beautiful clouds and got to fly through. I did, well, you can see what's actually coming up here now on my flight. I did something like this across the English Channel one time where I was using live weather. And it really was a, a magnificent flight flying through stuff like this. A valley of clouds. Yeah, you see, same as what I've got in front of me. I also did the same in Papua New Guinea. Uh, I was flying there and there were clouds just 
everywhere and there's high mountains in, in Papua New Guinea. Alright, so I got Maverick and I got you. You. Tucked in nice. Now, good boy, uh, make sure you've got, as I said, all players, all uh, live players, live traffic, live. So everything's got to be live, live, live. Otherwise, it doesn't show up. Alright, so I'm just uh, lining back up on my fly path and listen to that thunder. They feel quite real, yeah. Um, you know it when you start getting a storm and stuff. I also flew uh, from Edinburgh, I think, to uh, oh, whatever that city in north of Scotland is. And I was flying something small. And I got into the clouds and I full on iced up. I was, whoa, that whole cloud just lit up behind me. And um, all my windows iced up. Talking about icing up, what are we? 13 degrees outside, we're fine. But uh, it is it is quite amazing when that happens. Getting a seven knot tailwind. Very cool. Okay, good boy, I'm stall what? I'm stalling down to earth. Okay, did you just spawn in? Okay, balloon dominoes. Wait, has my game not told you that it's Microsoft Flight Sim 2020? It should do, but sometimes it comes up as Grand Theft Auto. Uh, for some unknown reason. So let me just make sure that I update it for you. As soon as I have the word grand in it and it sees a plane flying, it thinks it's uh, Grand Theft Auto. So where is the name of the game? Let's see if I can actually change that for you. So if you came looking for uh, Grand Theft Auto, that's not what it is. There we go, Microsoft Flight Sim. Oh yeah, put an L in there, otherwise it's Fight Sim. Flight Simulator 2020. Let me save that for you. Yeah, it says GTA 5. It often does that. Um, hopefully that's actually fixed it up for you now. Uh, what happens is it sometimes sees the planes flying and the clouds and stuff and YouTube automatically thinks it's uh, playing... Um, Grand Theft Auto 5, which I've never streamed that, but I, I kind of wouldn't mind giving it a go. I mean, I finished it, but you put some mods on there and you fly around and you muck around and have some fun. So hopefully, uh, Balloon Dominoes, it is actually fixed up and you can now see that it says Flight Simulator 2020. And we're doing a standard flight, and when I say standard, I'm trying to do it uh, as real as possible. Well, other than outside views. So, stay away from GTA 5 online. I did it when it first came out, and it was a nightmare. My wife and I were playing. We tried to actually uh, stick to each, uh, each other and, and just do a uh, joint thing. And when I tried to get into a workshop to do something, someone was there to kill me and steal my stuff. It's like, are you kidding? And when it first came out, uh, we were all standing around doing the nod dance thing, waiting for it to uh, to finally uh, synchronise or, or allow us in. It was ridiculous. So yeah, I'm not much into the multiplayer online, unless it can be a private server. Wait, I got a plane off that side of me. Where are you? Yeah, he's down low there. Very nice. That's cool. I'll turn off my VFR map for now. Oh, it's worse now? Yeah, I'm, I'm not worried about playing multiplayer. Uh, Mr. Humane says, you're still on USA West server. Yes, I am. I will stay on USA West server unless I join someone else, like uh, Two-Tone Murphy, which I've joined some of his flights, and uh, Oz Simmer, if he's not on... Uh, and I join him or Kiwi Mace if he's decided to uh, join another. Um, so I've, I've flown with those guys. Actually, honestly, I don't know if I've flown in his stream. Alright, that might be worth a try. Role-playing servers and so on. 
I'm not worried about the, the role playing servers. I would rather just do muck around servers. I mean, I'd rather have my own, to be honest. <laughs> what are you doing, Yui? You're trying to actually line it up nicely. Oh, wow, there was a glint of sunlight that just came off Maverick's uh, P-51 as he came over the, the clouds there. Must have shined off the chrome off his nose cone or something like that. Looked very nice. Or off your windshield. I am going to start doing Forza Horizon 4 for those who... Uh, have seen that and or played it. I've played a lot of it on uh, Xbox. Well, we're going to have some decent cloud to fly through here in a moment. And lightning. But I haven't, uh, I haven't done any videos on it yet. And I'm probably going to do a little bit of Project Cars to practice racing. And I know Eric has uh, popped in a, a link for his Discord that do, does racing. If you guys are interested in racing, especially like uh, proper racing, not muck around, crash into everybody's stuff. Uh, he's doing a set of Corso competition, uh, which is pretty cool. I oh, says he plays a lot of Forza. Awesome. Well, we might end up being multiplayer. I don't know what the deal is with PC, but I know on the Xbox you had to have Xbox Live. Actually, someone can tell me. If you play it on PC, do you have to have Xbox Live to play multiplayer on PC? Because if, if that's the case... I'm not going to bother. Alright, it is cross-play, but do you have to have an, a, a live account in order to play on their servers? Because I'm not overly... You don't need gold. Awesome! Now, I know I can bring across my profile from Xbox. I've looked that up already. But what I'm thinking about doing is uh, starting new. It's just starting fresh. So Ultimate is on sale right now. And I've been able to pick it up, and that includes the uh, Speed Champions Lego cars. I'll give that a, a look at least. I've got a few of those in real life, sitting on the shelf behind me. If you guys want to see my man cave pictures, uh, you can actually look on... Uh, what is it? Off the topic chat. I've added that in my Discord. Collect a few planes, collect a few cars. Whoa, we are going to find ourselves in a decent storm in a second. Are we going straight through it? Yes, we are. Well, what I might do is I might actually pop back in. See what this actually looks like. Inside. That's that P-51. It was there a second ago. Got nobody there. Um, I'm just going to go straight through it. Yep, you hear that P51, can't you? Alright, so, are we up high? No, we're not. Okay. Outside temperature, 13 degrees. Let's see what it's like when we get through the cloud. I'm sure it's only a short one. A few. Ha, ah, that's like a museum. <laughs> that's what Alex said. When's the museum open? And my brother says, <clears throat> when's the hobby store open? Uh, because I, I also have probably, I don't know, I haven't counted, maybe 100 kits unbuilt. Uh, and I did set up a YouTube channel in order to build them. Uh, whoa, we're getting lightning right in here. Um, but I never got that YouTube up and running. I basically started playing the games again and uh, did it that way. So... Eventually, I'll, I'll get that happening. Uh, I'm also building a magazine subscription of the Millennium Falcon uh, movie prop scale. So, it's the same scale. If you've ever seen the uh, collectible magazine for um, the Millennium Falcon, I got it. And I kind of collected all 100 magazines which did cost a bit over time. And I'm thinking about putting that, featuring that on the build as well. One or two, uh, you know, uh, magazines per build. I just got to set up the GoPro camera and stuff and clean my desk and, and start filming those. But we're doing too busy here, mucking around and loving flight sim. I mean, look at this. This just looks amazing. 
Oh, we got some more cloud. Ooh, you know, I'm contemplating climbing just a bit more here. Let's see if we can just poke ourselves up at least another 500. We'll get over the base layer of this stuff. Got some decent, decent weather. Now the benefit of being on live. <clears throat> where's Good Boy? Did he actually make it in? The benefit of being on live weather, live traffic, live players, and this, when it comes to live players, is that only people. I can only see people who are, pl are playing the same weather as me. So you, or you you're going to be going through the base of that cloud coming up. Come to think of it, I'm not actually going to... I am going to go around. Just because. It's like a mushroom. There's probably some decent updrafts there. I might actually just go around this one. And then get back onto the flight path soon. So yes, this is live weather, <clears throat> or as live as Microsoft can get it from the weather reports, which is actually probably not too far from it. But it models what it should look like. It's not going to know what the clouds will look like. But the AI that runs the uh, weather programs and the likes, I'm just going to see my flight path is going to take me through those again. I bet there's mountains down there. Let's uh, put on our... Yeah, actually not too bad. Okay. Um, so what it does is it, it gets the weather report and it models it uh, to try and get it as accurate as possible. So if it knows that there is certain type of weather here, it's going to try and model it the same way. Alright, you is behind me. And I've lost Maverick. Is he playing I'm around? Way the... high. You're way high. Oh, you've gone over. Now, I could climb... 20,000. 20,000. But you know yep. what? I might keep climbing here and just see if I can get... Although it does look spectacular. But I might get up, I'm thinking around the 12, will get us up over the base of these things. Oh, there's a decent thunderstorm going on down there. Alright, what's our outside temperatures? 11 degrees. So you can see that's coming down. Whoa. Oh, we definitely got some thunder and lightning going on here. You, you can keep climbing. If you want to keep going up, go for it. I am climbing, it's just not very fast. So I'm, I'm almost at 10,000 now. But I'm thinking 12, or I may even pop up to 15 or 17, depending on the temperature. Which will put us above this, but we might end up with just a cloud layer, and you won't see any of this awesome... Uh, I mean, look at how awesome that looks. They have done a really good job with this weather. I've slowed down as well on this climb. Oh, you is... Uh, I think he just went straight up, did he? Yep, yeah, I'm doing the slow climb and he did a quick climb, I'm guessing. I see Maverick's name tag above me. Still climbing. 10.6 at the moment. Probably does look like about... They don't look like a very thick layer of cloud there. You can see through a little bit. What, 12, 13,000? I should have done an HS report. Who's got a weather nearby? Simpang have that? No. No. No, 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 no. You gotta turn off your uh 
No, I don't want you. Now I've got to cancel that. Okay, I've got to acknowledge and then I want to cancel. Okay, so when you click on it, unfortunately, uh... Oh, U's coming down nice and fast. Unfortunately, um... My autopilot, uh, co-pilot has decided... Oh, you want to land there. Alright, I'll press it right now. It's like, no, no, I don't want to land there. Alright, autopilot, please. Take me to 12. Thank you. All right, now we're going to get back onto the flight path. So what I actually wanted was... I wanted to find out if anybody's got a Aegis. So... No. Does Sepang actually have? No. I hear that Mustang coming. There we go. We've got an Aegis here. Twelve thousand three hundred. There you go. I did say it was somewhere around about twelve to thirteen. ILS runway one five in use. Landing and departing runway one five. VFR aircraft. Safety okay. All aircraft read back hold short instruction. All right. So now the problem when you have your managed radio comms, the moment you want to go looking for an ATIS like that, he goes, "Oh, you want to land there? Okay." I'll take over. It's like, oh really? That is not what I wanted you to do. So I think we're doing quite well at the moment. Alright, just bear with me a moment and I will take a phone. What happens when you get a phone call in the middle of the stream? You just have to jump off for a moment. Okay, so the clouds are at 12.3. What did I stop off at? 12, so... No, 11.7. So if we just pop this in some uh, FLC, I can actually do that extra 300. Uh, so, who was asking for the 109? Was that Eric? I remember, I actually got it, I downloaded it, so I'm going to go and have a look and see what it has in the file. Okay, so it's for the acceleration pack. Uh, model has no interior model. There's a high chance that that won't work. Uh, which is a bit of a shame. But I don't know if that's the same with a propeller plane. So... Let me just open up Community Fold. Let's go and have a look at this P51. Does it have the same file structure? No, nope, needs an interior. Okay, so it looks like the um, the BF109H, uh, Eric, I think it was you, uh, does not have a model interior file. 
so it could potentially crash. I mean, that being said, you might be able to do a little bit of fudging and put in the P51 interior and get it working. It won't look right, or it won't look 100% right, but it, it could be a start. Um, but because there is no interior in it, uh, I think it's actually not going to work. But I will put it in, I'll give it a try, um, but the model config, yeah, you've only got the, the actual model and no interior. Which is the old way of doing it, now they have a separate interior. Let's have a look at the readme. Okay, no, here we go. Uh, it's not going to work. So it is a FS2004 to FSX uh, convert, that's why, okay. And that's why um, flight sim 2004s don't work. It's a bit of a, a bit of a shame. Um, they did things differently then. Yeah, I look. I wouldn't bother putting the interior in as well. Um, I've still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine other aircraft sitting in my download folder that I haven't even tried to install yet. Uh, sometimes you just collect, and then in my downloads, no, not in downloads, in my FSX folder, where I take them, I've still got half a dozen I haven't yet installed. Oh, I do have a 777. Oh, who was looking for the 777? Somebody in my uh, Discord. I did download one. Stickman has a screenshot. Okay. Now, Stickman is not on... Uh, all players. I'm guessing. All sorry, not on uh, live players. He's is on all players because he showed a picture of uh, he's flying with us, but uh, can't see us. So uh, let's put try live players. Weather, live, traffic. So with live traffic, everybody, if you have a look in your VFR, especially if you're a little bit lower, or if you go interior, you can actually see other planes fly by. They are potentially modelled from real traffic that is travelling on that path at this time in real world and as you can see nobody's flying here but if I zoom in okay there's one there so there is a plane flying where are they going down this path down here somewhere in real life because it's uh, recorded as a flight path so Alright guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some dinner and I'll be back soon. Alright. Maybe 20 minutes or so. Yep, that's fine. And then maybe after the stream we can have a quick look at your textures and see what's going on. Alright. Later. Okay, later. So there's no planes coming out of... What is it? WMKK? But you can only see some of these planes when you're actually getting closer. Nobody's on my flight path, that's for sure. Although, when we flew to... Where was it? Denpasar, I think. I had planes coming within a couple of thousand feet, and I was getting warned by ATC, keep an eye out for traffic. Keep an eye out for traffic at different levels. It's like, wow, okay. All right, well, it shows you where we are here. Got some more cloud here. Uh, are you? I'm thinking it is definitely time to climb over them. Well, turn the autopilot off. We still get that little shake. 
It's the fuel, 57%. I can actually ramp this up for a climb. Don't need to climb too much, but I might actually take it over. This is looking a bit rough there. You get thrown around in, in those uh, clouds. Just doing the same thing. I should have looked at the ATIS and see what it says up here, but uh, they said 12.3. Well, we're over 13 now, so I think clouds are different this way. Yeah, look at that lightning. We're still getting it. Alright, get a bit more of a climb. Hopefully I don't run my engines over max. Still climbing. It's a bit deceptive with these clouds. They look like they were uh, only about a thousand feet above me, but uh, obviously not. We're slowed down to 113 knots airspeed, but 146 true airspeed. It's because of the altitude we're climbing. Do love these nature air liveries. Uh, I'd be happy to have four people in caravans, all with four different nature airs, because it comes as a four pack. Let's make sure we're actually sticking on the line as good as possible. Yep. Nav is sitting at 320, is supposed to be okay. Try and remember that. That's nice and close. That looks awesome. You're getting a bit of buffering there yourself. Hang on. I'm uh, tilting. Wow. Um, I need to keep an eye on that temperature. Outside's three. We haven't got any frosting on the windows. Uh, but while I'm here... I can't get it while holding the stick. I'm turning. How come that didn't come on? Thank you. Stall. Turn on stall heat. I don't need stall heat, do I? Probably can't turn that one. Max flow to the windshield, so I don't. And I don't need backup mode on. <clears throat> All right. Going through the clouds now. I think we might end up having to get to about 16, 17. So I don't know if you you were doing the same thing there, turning on your uh, your pitot tube heaters and uh, turn your max flow windshield. I think it just turns on the air up into the windshield. I'm not sure about that. Somebody who knows. I have really gone off off path there. Sorry about that. I'll tell you what, we're going to have to get up a fair way. It's either that or we're going to have to uh, just make our way through down below. Yeah, I'm getting to freezing. Any higher I am going to freeze. Not good. This cloud's a little higher than I thought. Alright, you're just down below me there. So, <clears throat> we are right at the borderline temperature-wise of whether we're going to freeze here or not. I've really slowed down. I may end up having to put flaps on just to climb. What's happened to our wind? Not tailwind. Okay. Alright, getting a bit of a break here. I can see some cloud coming through. Yeah, but I I really don't think going over is going to be a necessarily a good idea. I'm still heading the wrong way. Just got a bank slight right as well. Ninety knots true airspeed. Can't go up too fast. I'm going to end up stalling.
Oh, yep, you're right beside me still. How are you doing with yours? Have you turned on your, uh, your warming kits? Minus one. Okay, this is where we may end up having to abort climbing if we're going to continue. It depends on what the, the uh, moisture is like. But I've got my heaters on. Windshield anti-ice must be off for takeoff and landing. Yep, yep, I know that. Minus two. And I still can't get past the cloud level here. Oh, that's not cool. Are we freezing up yet? No. Nope. Uh, maybe those back windows, I can't tell. We're going to get to our max level here. It's about 25,000, I think, for these. But uh, not having any luck getting over these clouds, I think it's just going to have to be a fly between. Alright, I'm already descending. Wow, so deceptive to see what you're doing in flying in a whiteout, isn't it? Minus two, I'm not frosting up, so that's good. Probably because I turned my stuff on. Was that breaking through? Or was that just lightning? I think it's just lightning. I should really get back onto that flight path. So I'm getting some downdrafts here, I think. I'm actually dropping. Yeah. Going over these storms? Nope. Not really a, uh, a done thing. Where's I? Is it there? No. Behind me or behind me? Okay, cool. Alright, you can see I'm frosting up now. You see the front of my plane is actually frosting. So I'm going to have to go down. So Yui, we're going to have to uh, get back down. We're, we're not going to be able to get through here. My windows are not frosting. Oh, oh, oh. So now I put on my stall heat. That was dropping too fast. my propeller pitch all the way back to try and slow that down. There are spoilers on this that can work too to slow you down pretty quickly. Right. That cloud line that we were trying to get through still still dropping. Am I still frosted? Yeah, I am. Look at that. Coming down just too fast. Bring it right back. I think we're just going to have to put up with the uh, clouds here. I might end up making my way around some of these. Fly a little more manual and not on our flight path. But you look out to the left there, and they've got next to none. Oh, we're still over speed. Alright, 197 is a safer speed. I'm going to lock in this altitude, thank you. Now, autopilot, take it easy on me. I'm going to get back onto the navigation path. We're way off, which means it's going to put me through. Can we get through that gap? Mr. Humane, uh, it took so long to find you. <laughs> um, where are you? You've got to be on live players, live weather, live traffic. Everything has to be live. If you put it on all, uh, I won't be able to see you.
Now is my navigation going to go through that gap? I'm on autopilot at the moment, so I'm letting autopilot fly it. What I'm hoping it'll do is get through this bit of gap here and then turn back onto this flight path. That would be the ideal. You can see me, yeah, if you're on all plays, you'll be able to see me. I'm on uh, live players. So you've actually got to be on live. Which means you will see the exact same weather I do. Because all players can change their weather to whatever they like, but they don't see the same things. Can you change to... No, you can't change in-game. You've got to press escape. But if you add me as a friend, I will uh, uh, pop up on your map in the future. And then you can just click on me and fly from me. Just have to let me know that you've done that. I'll come up and uh, press escape and, and add you. So I'm under Tasmanite. Same as I am in di uh, Discord. Same as I am in Uplay. Same as I am on Xbox. So our adventures up in the uh, in the frost-bitten sky was not a good idea. Okay, we can turn those guys off now, and we can actually turn our set max flow to windshield. What's the other one? Set max air flow uh, flow to the airframe. Oh, it probably actually should stay on the airframe. I imagine. But you only put on the windshield when you need your windshield defrosted. Yeah. Is my plane defrosted? Yep. So we couldn't get over these, so we're sitting in around the uh, 3200. Alright, I've got the live weather to, to the clouds, the ultra in the storm is amazing. It is, isn't it? So, you can turn them on live weather in, in uh, going up here. Uh, but that will not allow me to see you. So, um, where is the weather? I don't have the weather because I'm actually on live, so I can't change it. So what you need to do is you need to go out of the menu, click all of the left sides, so live, 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 and then uh, come back in. But if you're going to send me a friend request, you can actually just click straight on me and fly from wherever I am. So use me as the departure point. It's a good way of connecting with friends as well. You is uh, lining it up. So, how are we doing for altitude? Could probably lower a few. So if I go one, two, I'll just use that. It's not going to go too fast. Am I offline? Nope. Very good. It is pretty amazing here. Now I've turned my graphics down from ultra to high to try and make sure I can run this a lot smoother, uh, especially with all the add-ons I've started putting. And it still looks awesome. So if we get, uh, get out here and have a look at where the other Cessna is. Oh, I've lost him. You're hiding behind the clouds there. Oh no, there he is. Yeah, he's going around the other side of that cloud. Now this would be nice flying in jets too. What have we got coming up? Let's have a look at how small we look in amongst these clouds. Now I can see mountains there. There are mountains off to the left there poking through. Wow, you look small now. And it looks like you don't have to go very far to get over them, but we just could not climb past.
That's pretty cool. going 189 knots very cool ETA 97 minutes still all that mucking around has delayed our flight it's still another hour and a half wow I didn't realize it's gonna be that long what have we done one and a half hour oh, yeah three hour flight yeah okay do you know what I need I need a be right back sign. Oh wait, I got one of those. Let me see what I did with it. Uh, thumbnails. Uh, not there. Okay, that one there. How do I actually just put that? Um, I don't. I don't have that as my thing, but you know what? I'm just going to pop it down the bottom corner. See if you can actually see that on my stream. Oops, where to go? There we go, thank you. I'm just going to go to the bathroom while we're flying here, and I might actually get some. No, it doesn't come up. Well, I'll be. right back. Okay, I is going to let the autopilot take over for a while. Yeah, yeah, why not? I reckon if you set it up straight line on the flight path. Oh, you're down there. Set your altitude. Probably safe for about 12,000. Yep. Yeah. So I've got to get that little... Uh, We'll be back thing working properly. Um, I tried doing it. <clears throat> whoops, that just jumped everything. I tried doing it uh, with um, 
the GeForce Experience overlay, uh, but I found one time I couldn't get the thing to come off. It was just being so pedantic. <clears throat> really annoying, actually. So it's just a bit of a um, storm that we've passed. I think we've got a little bit ahead there as well. Making good time. I may bring my altitude down a fraction. some of this for a bit so I don't want to go down very much hasn't been much radio call going on maybe if we needed to press that red plays bravo papa two zero is type cessna carrier <coughs> two miles east of evo request flight following Red plays Bravo Papa two zero Quala Lumpur Center. Squawk 0437. Squawk 0437. Red plays Bravo Papa two zero. Red plays Bravo Papa two zero. Radar contact two zero miles east of Epo twelve thousand eight hundred feet. Twelve thousand eight hundred. Yeah. Let's just run that down a few more. <coughs> Copy. Red plays Bravo Papa two zero. See if we can see you behind us. Yeah, you is descending. I hope not. 8500. Mm, yeah, descending. Um, he put himself on autopilot, but he hasn't got flight level on. And he is actually descending. Well, if he can hear me, he might want to actually jump back in there and fix up his autopilot. Wait, no, it's going back up to 8,500. Maybe it's set at 85. He's bouncing up and down. It still looks like he's going down. If it goes down below 8, uh, I'll definitely say that he's... Uh, yeah, he's descending. I had that with somebody else who was flying with me. He put themselves on autopilot. It must have had to go to the bathroom as well or whatnot, and... Yeah, it just plummeted into the uh, the ocean. It's holding 8,500 almost. Maybe it's just getting uh, turbulence. Maybe it is set at 85. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Now, look at this beautiful land. This is this is looking awesome. Just start here and come out. There we go. So it would have been a lot clearer to fly around. Uh, it wasn't the flight path. It would take a lot longer. We were already taking a fair while. Off to Phuket in a little plane. Unfortunately, I haven't got a Denzel with me uh, today. He's uh, off doing something else, I'm guessing. I have to let him know. We might just cross paths as we go. I'm going to try and get myself on a, uh, there we go, you has realised <laughs> that he was descending and is doing the quick climb. Yeah, that's a little bit of slew mode going on there. Somebody forgot to mark their altitude meter. That happens. So streaming this at this time of day may not be the best thing because they don't have a lot of people coming and going. They certainly did early this morning. But uh, Sunday morning, start at 7am. So that's 7am uh, Australian Eastern Standard Daylight or Standard, no, Daylight Saving Time. Well, those clouds actually dropped down above us. 
So for um, people in the UK, I'll actually read it out in case people are watching this and going, oh, oh is that what time you do it? Okay. So <clears throat> when I do my weekend flyouts, uh, if you're in the UK, it's 8 p.m. That's uh, Zulu time, so GMT zero. If you're in uh, the USA, Pacific Standard Time, that will be 12 p.m., uh, 1 p.m. Mountain Time, 2 Central, and 3 Eastern Standard Time. Looks like we've got a city there. I wonder where we are. Let's get rid of that. Bring it back in. WMKI. I might have to have a quick look online. Where are we? We're going to go out over the water soon, aren't we? Is that Kuala Lumpur? WMSA? No. I think we've already gone past that, haven't we? There we go. That's uh, Sultan As. Lan Shah Air Runway and that will be Parak. So we are passing Parak down there, which is I think still part of Malaysia. Yeah. Where is it? Let me just check. Where is the line finish? Yeah, yeah, Malaysia's further up. Okay. So I'm going to Phuket in Thailand, which is right above... Uh, Malaysia, so we're basically flying over all of Malaysia. Hello, Malaysia. Goodbye, Malaysia. look through the comments to see if there's anything else. I do ha love how some people on my YouTube are saying please create a fully functioning aircraft. Um, for the mods that I put in, I'm not actually the one creating them. All I'm doing is importing them and I'm getting help other people to uh, help import import them into like as correctly uh, as possible but they're not my creations I wish I was that talented so I'm just using community mods to add them hey there we go I got I can't remember Mr. Humane yeah it is Mr. Humane with his O's and zeros, and he is slightly behind us. You're welcome to uh, bring your caravan closer up. Sounds like another one coming out here. Was that just the music? Well, you can see the clouds we're going into now. All right, let's just bring three caravans in. All right, yep, slowing forward. Tremasso, hello, I have joined you in Discord. What site did you get the P-51 from? Uh, the P-51 was from the msfsaddons.org. And you don't have to convert it, it's already been converted. So essentially it is the uh, Microsoft Flight Sim Accelerator Pack uh, P-51. So the original FSX aircraft. All 
All right, Mr. Humane, you need to come over to the left here. So we are to your left now. If you look at my uh, stream, obviously if you're hearing this, you will see, uh, I can actually see you now, and you've gone in front of me. So you need to come over to the left, and we are closer to WMKI on the VFR map. You is behind me, and low. Very good. Mr. Humane's getting, uh, trying to line himself up to catch up to us, but he's actually gone past us on the right of us and needs to come back over a bit. Sorry, I was not looking in the link to 251. Yeah, so uh, msfs addons.org. So it's in my uh, flight sim aircraft. Uh, who actually wrote for it? They asked for uh, websites for add-ons. If you look in there, you'll actually see msfs add-ons. Uh, second one down. You can actually click on that and you can get the F-18 and the P-51 from there. So Mr. Maha Humane, you've gone past this. Or O zero zero O zero Y zero O zero zero O. He's coming back over. The altitude is changing, and I think I'm flying at 12,500. Tremasso, if you can find any other sites that give add-ons, please post in Discord. I'm looking for all over for a 777. I've got one. In I downloaded one. I haven't tried it yet. Um, but I noticed that in my... So, I've got a 777. Or oh, was that the one we tried and it failed? Hmm... Don't know, I'll try it again. But I do have one. It's a 200 ER Ultimate Pack from Riku. Maybe that is the one we tried and it failed. But I downloaded that on the 19th of November. Actually, I thought I did try that one. I think it failed. Yeah, yeah. I'm just looking back through it, I'm thinking, no, I've already gone past that. Air Hong Kong. Okay, that's not us. I'm wondering, like, hello. Alright, now I've got Mr. Humane in with us. There we go. Look, I'm flying sideways here. Which one I turn the... Oh, I can't turn off autopilot. Turn off autopilot and it straightens up, turn it back on, and then I'm flying level. It's happened after the last patch, but we are probably getting a bit of a crosswind. Thorgrim, hello. Hello, Thorgrim. You're welcome to come and join me. Uh, please choose a Caravan 208, since we've got three t Caravan 208s at the moment. And I've got Nature Air, the bird. I've got Nature Air, the city, from you. And I'm not sure what uh, Mr. Humane's actually uh, sporting there, because I can't see. A monkey is in listening to me. Monkey is also a good boy. I think he's trying to get the P-51. So we've got a while to go. We've probably got an hour more flights, so if anybody want, wants to actually come and join, you're welcome to. This one though is my, as Jacob called it, boring AF flight uh, for the caravan. So these are standard planes and it is a standard 
flight from one point to the other. Oh, Dramasso is monkey. Yeah, okay, okay. So you Dramasso on one, you're monkey on the other, and in game you're. What are you in game? You're another name, aren't you? Oh, you went too close there, you got invisible. <laughs> Alright, so I can see the nav lights of uh, Mr. Humane. Not so boring when you're getting fast. Okay, now we're getting... I taxed all the damn thing on the air. Oh, yes, Sorry, what was that? I cast the all the grand Charlie airspace red plays Bravo Papa two zero. Oh, but it looks better on this one. Oh, you cached it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm thinking about doing the same. And the auctions gets really laggy. Yeah, I think we should do that when I go into some of these um, cities. I got some cloud coming up here. I wonder if I should drop. Oh, what's my altitude not holding? Because I'm on. F okay. Altitude. I climbed. I didn't even realise I climbed. Let's get back to 12. going to drop this a little bit quicker than I wanted to, but somehow I got back up to 15. I didn't even realise because I didn't have my altitude locked in. So I'm just going to slow down as much as possible. And drop. Because I don't want to fly through these things as much as I can help it. It's going to be mucking up everybody else. Sorry, Mr. Humane, you're probably hearing my uh, chat a bit delayed. You can come into Discord and uh, you sit yourself there. Uh, you don't even have to have a microphone on. Yeah, I knew that was going to be over speed. Alright, so now we... Over speed. Yeah, yeah, got lots of over speed there, lots of beeping and happening. So now I can actually run this back at 13.5. I might actually bring it down. 12.5 is where I was trying to sit before. I hear someone behind me to try and do the same thing. So if you're in my Discord, you can actually hear my chat straight away. You don't have to chat back if you don't want to. Uh, I've got a few people that sit there mute, but they can actually hear it without a delay. So as I move and decide to change altitude, they can hear it as well. And go, all right, I'll, I'll join you there. So I was talking there. What did you say? Much better than you too. I just like it. Five, six seconds yeah, it's not too bad at the moment. Uh, sometimes it can. Uh, we'll go to 13. I think we might sit at 13,000. Let's get back on the nav line. So we're probably going to go right through that fluffer cloud in front of us, aren't we? Yep. Should be a part of an updraft. Or we might just go right next to it. Drop me right to 13. Yeah, 12, 12, 5 might actually be uh, a better altitude to sit at. Oh, I didn't like that. I'm just going to drop it at those couple of hundred feet at a time rather than uh, dramatically. Twelve five is what I'm looking at. Marcelo's back. How was dinner? Yep. Oh, it was delicious. Uh, <laughs> uh, are you guys just in a caravan flight? We are still in the caravan flight. Yep. Dramaso just saying he's got to eat Burger King. Yum yum. 
Ah, oh. rub it in. I had porridge. Yeah. Porridge is all I've got today. All right, I'm gonna lock in at sixty percent. What have I got? My okay, I ate I should... water burger. You ate what? Water. I just saw the more. Right. Okay. Yeah, but... You're gonna make me want a burger for lunch today. That won't go down well, especially if my wife's watching. Yeah, how's so, the weather uh, down in Australia? Oh, uh, mate, the wind, the wind's blowing again. We had 165 oh, knot uh, winds, not not one knot, 65 knot winds, or 165 kilometer an hour winds gusts at some places here. But probably around my place, at the moment, it's 40 to 60 kilometers an hour. Um, so, like, it, it's it's blowing. I'm hoping the uh, stream doesn't drop out. Out here in Brazil, like, we're getting close to summer, and, oh, man, it's just, it's hot. Well, we had summer uh, start the yeah. 1st of December. You should have the same, don't you? Yep. Yeah, south yeah. hemisphere. I just started with Yeah, yeah, you're in the northern hemisphere then. All right, let's have a quick look at what the wind's supposed to be. Uh, 33 kilometers now, so that's a pretty good guess. Currently, that's that's now. So that is still pretty windy. All right, so we've got three caravans. I've uh, locked myself in at 2,500. Sorry, 12,500. I'm not saying 25. 12,500. Oh, yeah, it's Friday tomorrow. Yeah, this is my Friday Friday for me. Oh, yeah. Almost midday. Alright, I'll change my name of the Xbox to Jamasso. Yeah, alright, that means we'll see the same. Uh, luck, luck, glitches for me whenever I spawn. There it crashes to desktop. Luckla? What's Luckla? I'm not sure what that means. That's a very small airport. Uh, did you add anything such as a um, a mod to that airport? All right, so you can see all the traffic here. We're passing Lom Lombok Island, I believe. No, it's just by itself, okay. See the planes lining up on WMKP for takeoff or landing. Uh, I think that's where my father went at the beginning of the year. Lombok. I think that's Lombok. Let me just uh, zoom out. No, wait, Lombok's this one. Oh no, that's Lombok. Okay, I actually don't know what the island that is. Oh, it's already bugged out. I already, already noticed the bug. When I choose departure on you, and uh, and then I set the arrival at two cat, uh, it just disappears. Makes me, makes me, like set the departure again. Oh. Already a bug found out. Or you could take off from WMKB. It's we're just about to pass it. You probably get into the air and get to the right altitude by the time you left there. Well, I actually chose to spawn on you and just follow your plane. Yep. Because like it's really finicky to choose the arrival and departure points. Joe Trilling says it's hi, Brett. Hi, Joe. Sorry to cut you there, uh, Marcelo. Yep. It's a bit of a bug then. Yeah. yeah. Another patch bug. Like right. you fix some things and mess around with some others. They do. How There's about any? Issue with those yeah. How about anybody who uh, joins me at the moment? Please jump in a caravan 208. That's what we would prefer. It's me from earlier, by the way. Yes, Joe, you're back again. Yeah, it's a long stream this one, so uh, you can always go out and do something. Maverick has spawned in, but that is not a caravan. No, no, it's a, 
It's still my P51, and my controller got connected, by the way, so I'm um, just going downwards. Right, don't you just love that? See you, Maverick, you're going oh. down. Bail out! He's not in the F-14, so... I'm a plane just going haywire. And... Wow, oh, look at down here. Are you going to get the space shuttle or... Antonov? I have already downloaded it, the Russian version, uh, for the Antonov flyout this Sunday. So it'll be Saturday for you guys in the Northern Hemisphere. So if you do choose the Antonov 225 with oh. the Russian uh, space shuttle variant on the back, yes, I will be able to see it. No, I won't be flying it. Strange, my controller is not responding. Actually, I'm gonna just try to connect it. Cable. The cable. When it comes to X-Plane being having an importer, I think there may actually be a legal reason why you can't import from X-Plane over to here. But when you go from Flight Sim X, so Microsoft Flight Simulator X, to Microsoft Flight Simulator, uh, community mods, yeah, look, there's, there's a difference there. But X-Plane is not owned by Microsoft, and they may not want their stuff being uh, exported. And or if it's not using the same format, nobody's gone there. Joe will be on in an hour if you're still flying. Um, well, let's have a look. ETA is 65 minutes, so if you're here in one hour, you'll see our five minute landing and five minute taxi. Happy to have you. Maverick's back again. Not yet. My controller just... Well, name tag is. It's going rebel. You can press pause brake on your uh, plane and reconnect it and see if you get control back. Yeah, I actually paused the game. <clears throat> yep. Well, oh, doesn't seem to work. Apparently I'm going to have to switch it off and, and make it compatible again. Alright. It takes a couple of minutes. Thorgrim, I showed it right on the stream. It did not show. Uh, no, I saw you on my stream the other day with an Antonov with a space shuttle on the back. You talking about the Grand Canyon one? No, or uh, what? On the cargo livery. The cargo livery. I have downloaded it now and it is installed. Oh, it didn't show. Thanks. So since since I talked about it the other day, I made sure they were all in there. Jerome Masso says uh, they need to make an update for the importer so that it won't matter if it's not compatible or not and it won't crash. I think Alex said in the... Let me turn this thing in down a bit in my discord that he has updated it uh... let me just read where is it I was needing a new version of the legacy porter yeah he updated it no, the people were chatting, I can't remember where they were chatting oh that's nice, nice to hear because uh... the last update version was crashing for me like I couldn't import any plane <clears throat> yeah yeah so um... Okay, so in the flight simulator chat, they were talking about uh, about a couple of hours ago. Probably when I was doing my Concord stream. Uh, okay, we'll find out what's happening. Uh, so try, you can try the new update, automatic cab file scan disabled. Okay, so go into your legacy importer, go over to the tab that says, I think it's about, and go update. So the latest version, I yeah, should be able to get it. What's happening to Mr. Humane? He's going up and down all the time. So Jamaso, that should actually help you out. So he's actually said that they'll, uh, he's, he's worked on it. Um, I haven't pressed update. Uh, I have been helping Alex do some testing as well because I've got lots and lots of mods. So I've got version 2.2 .2 and version 2.3 um, on no, my computer. Check that. Well, Another thing that I still need to do is uh, work on the HUD things on uh, on the jets. So uh, actually, uh, I couldn't understand much of the video that like, Alex made. Like, you could I not. Still got... Okay, so yeah. his accent was a bit too hard for you. 
No, 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 it has no, nothing what to, to do, do with that. Like, uh, yeah, what to do, actually. Right. I, I found it very confusing, like, a lot of steps. Yeah, uh, there are a lot of steps depending on the program. aircraft you're using. Let's have a look and see what's in front of us here. Looks like we're getting a bit more of a storm happening. Well, uh, I noticed that the F-15 might be a little finicky to do so. Yeah, I did my F-15 um, with a code thing and when you look at it sitting on the ground you can only see half of it. But the moment you get in the air you can see all of it. I'm like, okay, I don't know what is going on there. Um, but I also had my afterburners working, but uh, it then got rid of the HUD. So it's, it's either HUD or afterburners, so at the moment... Look, eventually, well, you've got to think about it, we're still only three and a bit months past when this came out. Eventually, we will have full HUD, full afterburners, you know, things will be going quite well, I reckon. And they said they also have to close the game. Sorry, two people talking there. They also said that they would what, sorry? They would support the game for 10 years. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah. Although, um, I've noticed that YouTube has now dropped the word Microsoft. When you mm -hmm. search for uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, it's now just Flight Simulator 2020. Oh. Even though you type in Microsoft, it just comes up as Flight Simulator. So like, uh, they got a beef with Microsoft. Or no, YouTube is probably gone. Uh, the algorithm. X amount of people have asked for Flight Simulator, and this is what they meant. Uh, All right, so I've yeah, got Mr. Humane down below, but I've lost Yui. Ah, oh, down below me as well. Oh well, way down. Oh. I hope he's not on autopilot again because your your level's not holding. You need to uh, pull up there. You pull up, pull up before you hit, hit the water. Oh, wow. Still going down, 4,300. Let me just see. 4,400, now it's gone back up. Okay, now you're climbing. Got to get that flight level on there, now you're climbing. It's cool if you're going down there to have a look. Maybe we can do that. Now that we're going over the water, I mean, it's not, look how nice it is here. This is beautiful. Look at those uh, rivers that just run all through that area. And it looks like they've got uh, crops that they do as well. That's so nice. Got my classic music going at the moment. Shall we descend? Went down to take a look. Oh, okay. As long as you're only taking a look, I was worried that you'd walked away and uh, crashing again. All right, hang on. I like to press that numpad in the middle and then change it over. All right, autopilot off and we get a little bit of a kick. So I'm gonna go down as well. So, let's see if we can get down to 5,000 if it gets us below. Hello? What's the new update? What does the new update do? What does it do? Are you talking about the legacy yeah. importer? Yes. Okay, so according to what Alex wrote at 11.11am 11, 11 on my stream, so I've got now one hour ago, you can try the new update, automatic cab files scan disabled. So they were having trouble with the latest one, um, mucking it up for people. All right, I'm going to descend as gentle as possible with autopilot and FLC down to 5,000. We've still got storm up here. I'm, I'm thinking I'd like to be below that now. All right, oh so who we, who we got? I've lost everybody. Has everybody already descended? Yeah, they did. They're below me. <laughs> who was that? Butterworth approach. Is the best. It is. But it works. 
and descending. There's a Butterworth approach. That's cool. Alright, you, I am descending to five, but I'm doing it as gentle as possible using hey, FLC. I see THD. Well, wait, I think those are. If you're joining me, you need to be on live weather, live plays, live traffic. Oh. Well, otherwise, oh, yeah, I otherwise, I cannot see you. Yeah, I'm already on. Okay. okay. So not all players, it's got to be live players. Yeah, but all. But only for the Cessna yeah. flight. Everything else I'm happy to have on the uh, all players and just muck around. But this Multiplayer one... Multiplayer is true chaos. It can be. But this one I'll only see people who can see live weather. So basically they will see the same set of clouds that I see because the the Microsoft servers send them the same information, which is awesome. Yeah. Right, we are still descending. Yes, we are. Let's back that out. What is it? Oh, just had a glitch pop up on the back of my plane. Don't want that. Let's look down. So we're actually going down in amongst these clouds here. Alright, so I've got Mr. Humane, or all his letter and numbers, is below me. Already down at 18, 1700 feet. Well, that person's really, he's really going down. Mr. Humane's about to touch. Alright, I don't want that music to come on just yet. So what we might do is we might just back it up a few. Who's currently near you? Uh, you. E-I-U-U. -U. Right in front of me. EIU. E Alright. Contacting Kuala Lumpur. So I'm still descending. Are we going to level out at 5, I'm hoping? Should do. Suck at our speed there, so that was good. Are you guys already contacted uh, ATC? Yeah, yeah, well, I've already contacted uh, Kuala Lumpur. That's just to uh, get flight leveled, like to continue. Alright, so I'm going to bring this uh, throttle back up to 60% to maintain my speed, maybe even 70. I've got 40% fuel. I topped it up for this flight. Okay, very good. So at the moment I've got continuous plan from Kuala Lumpur because we're just bypassing them. Whoa, I've got a Thorgrim in an AN-28. That's fine, right? Oh. That's fine, it's a nice little plane. Yeah, it's fine. I noticed though the light on that, when you on the taxi lighting on the ground, it mucks up with a beam out in front, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, okay. But I know when, um, I think I read it in uh, Alex's thing that it'll turn off, uh, when you click the certain certain um, light thing, it'll turn off when you take off automatically, which is awesome. I just turned it on, it's a big loss. Yeah. Oh, I've got somebody else that's pretty noisy, that would be a P-51 I reckon. Yeah, no, it's a, yeah, it's a P-51. Who's that, Maverick again? Yeah, see, he's, he's flying around so quickly. Yep, it is pretty loud that thing. All right, Mr. Humane's off 919 feet off the ground. Okay, off the water. All right, you is right there. So, what the heck? Noise. What the heck? What noise? Oh. On your live stream, I just saw that person do Big Bear. Yeah, that's uh, Maverick's P-51. It's so loud that full-on yeah. brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Thorgrim's going up and down, up and down. Wait, where did you just go? Shot for the I sky. Just slewed up. I just slewed up. Slewed up, okay. Retro Yeti is here. I Welcome. don't see anyone. Wait, now I do. Alright, I see you guys, so we're sitting at 5,000. We're going to go over Lombok. I'm hoping Lombok doesn't have... Oh, here comes that Mustang again. Hoping Lombok doesn't have large mountains. I didn't actually check that. We got a bit of rain down there too. Whoa! Did you see that? There's a blanket of rain in front of us. I'm just going to change to my weather uh, horizontal. Vertical? No, horizontal. Where's my weather? I press back. Why won't that press? That's weird. I just okay. Hang on, I'm getting closer. Thank you. Display. Right there's the weather. Yeah. Okay. I think we're going to go through a bit, but uh, it's actually not too bad. But certainly when I saw that lightning come, it just blanketed the rain. Am I actually getting rain on the windscreen? The wipers in the Minecraft part don't do anything. <laughs> you all see the rainbow. Where's the rainbow? Who's saying that? I... Uh... No, I don't, but it depends on what angle you're at. Sometimes you've got to be a little bit lower or going through. But I do see rainbows from time to time. Oh, a Spitfire just went through me. I tried Yeti's back in the Spitfire. Okay, cool. Land Cowie! Alright. One one nine or decimal four for red plays Bravo Papa two zero. Lane call we approach red plays Bravo Papa two zero. Excuse Five me while I just have a drink of water. Red plays Bravo Papa two zero Lane call we approach. Continue as planned. Altimeter two nine or decimal eight zero. Whoa! A Spitfire just come racing in. Mr. Humane's going faster than me. What am I? I'm at 179 knots. 38% fuel. What's my ETA? Hang on, I need to press back on the screen. ETA is 48 minutes. 154 nautical miles. I think I'll stick to my uh, current I don't want to just trim it out a bit. Which view do you guys still have? Which what, sorry? Uh, how many fuel do you have left? Yeah, just finished saying uh, that. So I've got 38% fuel. And I've got 152 nautical miles to travel. Well, and I'm getting a 24 knot crosswind down here. So this is not necessarily the best altitude for that. Radar's showing a bit of... Let's go back to GPS. Top of no waiting on. Back. P51 is very loud. It, P51, yes it is. Wait, how do I oh, get back to my guys, map? You're here yet? Actually, I'm gonna do a flyby. Maybe two seconds. How come I can't press GPS? Because I'm stuck on weather. How do I go back to my normal just GPS display? Map. 
that's what I want. Display. Thank you. Oh, it's actually on. No, I just want GPS. zoom out. I'm sure this comment is telling me, oh you do this. Just weird, I just buzzed by with an Antonov the space shuttle on and showed me as a bonanza. Wait, I did missed it. You had the Antonov, oh, that's that uh, engine didn't sound right on the um, Spitfire there. Alright, so I've got an Antonov. So you're coming, you're coming now with an Antonov. Yeah, this is the um, normal skin. Right. So the the space shuttle one not show up. Okay. I'll change. Oh no! I just, I just found it. It's angle right now. Oh, buzzing me. So, Mr. Humane turned into an F-14 and went a thousand knots. And that's why he raced ahead there. I'm wondering how you got so fast ahead. I'm thinking, I'm doing 177 knots. How do you go so fast? Now, Thorgrim, the uh, Antonov may not have spawned in well enough by changing it there, but... Uh, 2090, flight sim control, real planes in VR. You reckon? By 2090? We're getting close. I don't know well, where Fulgham we are. just went down below. Okay, yeah. what are you in? So, no, you're not coming I'm over. I say, this is Langkawi. This is where my father hung out for a holiday. Good on him. Right down in one of those hotels. I'm in the space think, right I think that, uh, yeah, see, I don't see it. Either it hasn't come over, but... I'll try and do it later. Yeah, don't know. So I think one of these uh, ones with that beach there, right off my nose, I think my father was saying, oh, we're down here. And he, he really liked it. It was quite nice. Looks like a beautiful place to be. Okay, says, how you doing? We're doing very well. And uh, oh, he also says hello. I missed that. Hello, okay. We are doing good. Most of us were in caravans, now I've got a P-51 and a Spitfire and... Okay, I've got another caravan, he was in an F-14 for a second. Mavericks in the P-51. Really noisy playing that from the outside view. Spitfire right in front of me. But i got you in a another... Okay, I'm behind you. Okay. Same okay. livery. Thorgrims keep changing between planes, so... I what is in? I don't know. Right, so it may not have just allowed me to see it, but I do have it installed. So, you got it from the Riku website? Yeah. Okay, might just have to. Uh, See what's different. How you doing? Oh boy. Yeah, I got people all around me at the moment. At one stage, it was just uh, you and myself. Everybody else went off for dinner or whatever they had to do. Yeah, see, I don't see that, Thorgrim. So oh I'm God. wondering if it's changed names between yours and mine or something. I mean, I just installed it by normal. Oh. I just ran out of fuel. That's nice. Actually, I'm gonna try to glide my way to the airport. No, you're too far out. Oh my god. Huge... Huge lightning struck my plane. Struck your plane? A, 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 yeah, apparently. Like, my screen just went all white. Oh, wow. Well, I don't know if uh, we can get a electrical failures due to lightning. No, the, air, uh, the airport airplane is just bomb. there. Yeah, I don't know. You airplane. have to... Sorry, say that again, Thorgrim? Airplane body is made to absorb light. Sorry. Supposedly, it's supposed to go over the outside of the, uh, yeah, Bob. The cabin, but, um, could there be one on a P-51 that would, uh, hurt it? I don't know. There is a runway right there for you. 
Well, somebody's doing a dive. Oh, I'm getting lightning again. I'm not sure what plane that was. <coughs> Whether it was the caravan or not. Jesus Christ, I'm trying to kill a mosquito here and just apparently refuses to die. My gosh, it's lasting <laughs> three times. Like, my god. This is some sort of radioactive mosquito, I don't know. Do you know what? At least where I am in Tas Tasmania, I don't have much problem with mosquitoes. Thorgrim, that Concorde is not going to start in the air in time, yeah, I don't you. think. Yeah, too, when too... summertime comes around in Brazil, oh my god, it's just extremely annoying. This yeah, mos on, thing. on our west coast there's a lot of mosquitoes, but uh, in the north and on the, sorry, on the east coast. On the west, I think it's too windy. On the north, I don't seem to have the same problem. Um, I'm not sure about Hobart. I, I've been there in the summer, but I don't remember mosquitoes being a problem. Thorgrim's still trying to get that Concorde going. Good luck oh, in those engines running. I actually had to add some more fuel was tolling out of the sky. You're going to have to get yourself up to about 30,000 feet and make sure all oh. four engines come on and then slowly increase them. There's four. Mr. Humane's doing some flying around. Nice no, retro Yeti, sorry. Mr. Humane's actually flying level now. Like I am, 5,000? Oh, that was Lombok. What's this one? <clears throat> Anybody tell me what the island this one is? No. Alright, so from Lankawi, this is... Oh! Taratau National like Park. script from the outside view. Koh-Taratau, oh, Co I think is what this is actually called. It's very nice. And Thorgrim's still trying to get those engines running. You're not going to be able to fly oh. slow enough in that uh, Concorde, sorry. The Conqueror yeah, looks awesome looks on the outside. Yeah, he's just stalling out of the sky. I can see. Yeah, oh, there yeah. you go. Yeah. He's just stalling out. I'm going to try to it's save It's very him. difficult to start those in the air so without a lot of speed already. Oh, did you just pull up okay. or did you no, land in the water? Okay. He's slow down. I'm just going to slow back. Slowing his All right, let's have a look up. at what it looks like down here. Mostly, uh, mostly trees. Well, it is a national park, so I imagine that would be the case. Whoa, I just hit some turbulence and a half. Once I get over, uh, whoa, yeah. I probably should climb. All right, was that a stall? Alright, how do I turn that weather off my... I got all the engines running. Thank you. Back, hook back. Thank you. Display. Thank you. VFR, let's zoom in. So when I got over these part of the uh, mountains, that's what uh, was causing my turbulence. Yeah, okay. So we've got 38 minutes, 37, wow, so <clears throat> getting a lot of turbines here. Who's following me? Yep, probably getting the same deal. Look at the beaches down there, isn't that nice? Almost undisturbed, because it is a national park. Very nice. Hear that Mustang coming. There he goes. Hey, the Concorde's working. Yeah, I'm going. Okay. Oh. See ya. <laughs> I missed the last one. You missed my Concorde flight. Yeah, same time each week. And I was, even though um, there was a download, an update this morning, I was not that far behind on it, so I was. 
There's only a one gigabyte. Yeah, Actually, well, it's still one gigabyte. Move, but I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to catch up the Concord in the P51. Probably won't make it, but you won't make it. Yeah. Once he gets going. 100 knots. So Thorgrim, oh, do you think you can land at Phuket in that? Yeah, maybe. The rushes are really strong. Oh, lightning. Oh, I can see through the window. Oh, no, mind. The window just cleared up randomly. They just cleared up randomly? Yeah, and then they just fogged up. Oh, because you got lots of light behind them, that's why. Okay, so I really do need to do a video on that. Um, you can use the HUD video that uh, Alex created. Um, and it's in my tutorials. Um, but what I'll do is I'll create my own video showing how to do the Concord, uh, or I might actually do the C, the C18, uh, Globemaster. For Christmas, I'm gonna get some Steam gift cards and I'm gonna buy FSX. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the engine's just shut down. Oh. One of See them. if you can... Okay, so Far Fan Games is here. Alright, very good. Caravan flight. Tuck them in if you've got a caravan. <clears throat> just like uh, you is. And here comes the Retro clouds. Yeti. He's got the Mustang now. Okay. My clouds are really ugly because all pixels. Right. So Far Fan Games, if you want to tuck yours in. What, uh, what livery do you have? have a look. Well, the engine's just shut down for no reason. Right. So uh, we just passed Lomb Lombok Island. It's gone now. And we're heading off to Phuket. So fan, Far Fan Games, you and uh, Mr. Um, Humane, or oh, his numbers there, are way behind. We've got two caravans here at the moment, both sporting the same set of liveries, which is the Nature Air, so that looks nice. I reckon that's a good screenshot. Well, that makes me go forward, doesn't it? <laughs> that always happens when you do a uh, screenshot. Yeah, I'm you. There's a Concorde and, well, yeah, that's Thorgrim. Yep, yep, Thorgrim buzz by in his Concorde. Maybe do loops around, that's probably the easiest way to do it, that way you don't have to stop and, and slew backwards, you just do circles. Yeah, the uh, engines are just shutting down because they want to. Why not? Mm. Or they just go silent for no reason. Don't have them full power all the time. Once you get to speed, you need to be back at 70%. In the Concorde? In the Concorde. How fast you're really going. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Somebody's... Oh, sounds like somebody's uh, propeller plane just got going. What is that? A retro Yeti. Is that the Spitfire, is it? So with the uh, Concorde, if you stay on afterburners, which is full power, you will run out of fuel if your fuel gauge works. Um, you, no. can, you can go to advanced settings and turn on all your outside display stuff. And then you can see how much throttle you're using and how much, uh... Yeah, I see. Um... How much flaps and, and all the rest. So, basically... If I come back in here... Like all the stuff that's on the side there. Engine, fuel... So I'm at 34%. Yeah. Okay, Farfan Games has come over, for me, in a default livery. Very cool. What a shame we don't get to see your name. The reason the P-51 engines just shut down for no reason in the flight. Your P-51? Yeah. Uh, did you press escape? No. I never okay. did. Okay, I don't know why. I've got Destroyer has jumped into our chat channel here too. <clears throat> 
destroyer has come and traveled a long way with me in the uh, caravan tour before as well which is over there I got Maverick and Thorgrim ahead trying to race to Phuket Shutting down. I wonder why. You really can't start up up again no, no, no. when they shut down. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. You run out of fuel? Have you checked your fuel? It doesn't show the fuel gauge. No, go at the top here. Should... Press the uh, drop down menu. Go to the weight symbol that looks like a bit of a bell. Press fuel, see what number it is, drag it up. Make sure you're not out of fuel. Do you do? I can really hear you there. On that you, one. you couldn't hear me there, did you say? Yeah, couldn't really hear it. Okay, up the top, you can use the fuel yeah. drop down menu, add fuel. You can also check your fuel up there. I don't see anything that says add fuel because it doesn't actually okay. serve. Watch the stream. Okay. Drop down menu. There's a bell. Press the bell. There's fuel. You can actually use the slider here that says 33% and drag it up. Mine's 33 because that's what I've got left. I won't do it now. So that's up in the middle. So you'll see that comes through. Way? About 10, 15 seconds behind on the stream. That's what fuel? Fuel. Plus. Okay. Ah! Have you heard of, um... Oops. Uh, shoot. Stalling. Did you have fuel? Or was it zero? It's at 50%. Um, I changed everything. Let's see if that works. Oh, well, we got okay. two in front of us. You can actually see some Start of the, uh, the water down here is a lighter color blue, probably from uh, shallow areas. It's quite nice. And all the yeah, sun's shining through it. The ocean's on there. Yeah, it doesn't start. Are you pressing Control e to start your engine? Yes. Right, does it start on the ground normally? I didn't actually take the off from the ground. I just took off from have, the air. But have you used oh. that on the ground before? Did it actually take off? Well, I haven't tried it yet. Right, so there may be some issues that you might have clicked in the importer that uh, mucked it up. That's why I'm asking. It's, it's I had that happening from... when it first started. It's the one from MSFS add-ons. Oh, right. So it's the way they've set it up. You can I use the importer how... on it and add a few extra bits and pieces, like the uh, HUD stuff. Farfan Games is going a long way out there. I'm trying to get my drone to get everybody in the shot there. Gabriel is Farfan Games. All right. You all have a really nice livery. I still have problems uh, to install it, but I am working on it. Okay, so uh, you go in my Discord. I've got a link to um, liveries. If you get uh, the, I think it's something like flightsim.to, and you can go to their pages for the Caravan 208B. And what you do is you download it. You have to unzip it out of the zip file so you just have the folder called liveries whatever it is or a sobo liveries and you put that in your community folder the same place you put um, add-on aircraft but you have to take it out of the zip folder and that way you'll be able to see our liveries and we will be able to see yours only though if we have the same ones so i write now as of last flight and this flight uh, what liveries I will be using so suggest that you get the same one uh, if you want to join the flight. Wow, you just got really close there. Ah, you went invisible, you got so close. Oh, Thorgrim buzzing past, sounding like thunder. That might have actually been thunder, oh, wow. but 
Sounded like thunder. I have to turn the game very down to hear this. In the Concord? Yeah, it's I, I have to turn it down every time I do the stream. It's so loud. No, okay, we got thunder and lightning here at the moment. We're not idling. I'm actually gonna try importing it. That feels good on this path. What are you trying to import? The P fifty one. Do you mean uh, using the importer to update it? Or you actually well, going to... Because it's already got the Microsoft 2020... Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 files for it. All it needs to do is you just do an update. And you can add your other stuff to it in advanced settings and stuff. Oh, I'm not the installer thing right now. I'm just going to... Um, we got a fair chunk yeah. of lightning and stuff going on. Alright, Farfan Games has jumped oh, way the, up. Also developer name that I'm starting make, the installation. Developer name? I was gonna make the Concord on that, like the functional, really functional one. So, what is the person who's doing it? DC Designs you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, yeah DC Designs, go and check them out on Facebook. Uh, they're making an awesome Concord. Fully functional. They just got to wait till uh, Microsoft allows them to either put it in on modern flight mode, or they'll be stuck on legacy. Same with his F15. Well, it would be better, right? It made a fully functioning modern than oh yeah than legacy flight mode. I heard that like legacy makes some aircraft fly like erratically. Um, it look it works well for flight sim X. But when you're trying to model things that uh, have been set up to allow 100 points of, or whatever it is that they have of uh, air passing over the frame and contact points and all that, as opposed to something that can only handle 10, well, yeah. So when we put these legacy planes in, not this one, this is the original, but when you put the legacy planes in, you want to be on legacy mode, otherwise they struggle. I think I'm crabbing again. Can't fly modern. Can't fly on modern, no. Yeah, I was crabbing. Have Stop you... That. Have you done a showcase on the P-51? Yeah. Yeah, pretty early. Because it was an easy to bring over one, because it was already the Microsoft uh, Flight Sim Accelerator X version. Yeah, I'm looking for it right now. It's probably a fairly early video. Let's see if I can actually look up the number for you. I'll just search. So you don't hear my insane keyboard. <laughs> Video number twenty-two. Even before I searched it up. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've got all the thumbnails already recorded with their numbers on. All I had to do is look through them and find P fifty-one. Far, far fan games or Gabriel, try clicking flight level. I'll show you. So you come in here, and if you press altitude hold, and your autopilot, and if you've already got the pink line to uh, Phuket, press navigate, and then what you can do is you can actually sit at a very precise level if that's what you're wanting to do. If you just want to keep flying around for a look and that's cool keep doing it but uh, you come in and you go I want altitude hold please I want autopilot to hold it at that altitude and navigate navigate will go on the pink line make sure your CDI is set to, to the pink line CDI is this one down here which I mucked up and mine didn't 
So I've got 21 minutes left. This has been a nice long stream. It will be over three hours. Thank you everybody for joining me. Those who've come and gone, those that are still here, I have to go get dinner, Thorgrim says. Yeah, I'm going to have to have lunch soon. It's already 12.47pm here. Alright, so everybody's now flying level. I think they've all set the same thing. Yeah! Now, if you want to change altitude, I have settings on my flight stick for that. But you can decrease or increase, depending on which way you use your rollerball mouse, underneath the alt altitude uh, selector. Um, just by pressing it doesn't mean it will go up or down. So now that I'm sitting at 5100, it won't do that unless I choose something like uh, FLC, will climb it automatically for me. Um, I think you can do vertical speed as well, but I find if you're just doing a small amount like that, if you're doing a lot, uh, FLC can climb it. Uh, but when you come down, you use your FLC, set your altitude like I did to 5000 and then back off the throttle and it'll automatically hold it, which is pretty cool. And this way I'm actually letting the autopilot hold me nice and level. So Thorgrim had to go to get dinner but his plane's still over there. I wonder if it's flying level or if he's just paused. Oh, almost landing at... I was going to say Maverick's already up at uh, Phuket. Yep. Already almost. landing. Already I landing. Know. Yeah, uh, I'm looking for the runway right now. Uh, actually, I'm gonna. I'm at over 400 knots. So, yeah, that's fast for a B-51. All right. Quite fast. We got someone's climbing yeah, there. Do you have to put in the hangar first? I would suggest you do that. The I reason. The reason, well, you don't have to. It will create a CVT folder and it will potentially make it easier to load into your game. Otherwise, it's got to also do it there. But it's easier to do that than trying to load in because if it crashes, you know that that plane won't work. You don't have to load in halfway and then find it crashes. So, you know, there are benefits for, for certain things. That's how I found out that my F-14 liveries didn't, didn't work. I got so sad. You tried loading <laughs> then, in first. No, no, I, I tried uh, on a hangar. That's why oh, I, in the I hangar. found out the Downer's skin didn't didn't come over. So yeah. A bit of a shame, for the, well, when it is so bad. Yeah, I will, I'll have a look at that. Maybe while we got the, the extra, I did say when you come back we can actually chat during flight. So everybody else can listen to us try and work out how to get some new liveries for the F-14 that they already come with but are not installed. Yeah, exactly. Okay, they so are kind of, uh, kind of uh, optional liveries. Yeah, so let's go Grumman F-14D. Similar to the repaint for older. I'm Wait, landing. where's the repaint folder? Is that in the original download? I think yes. Uh, I have the file here. Uh, oh, I it didn't come there. over. So maybe I. It's in the FSX original folder, is it? Because uh, I don't have them on mine. Whoa. What? Where's the folder? It, it, the repaint. The repaint folder. Yeah. Uh, it's usually in the F14 okay. download. It file, must. Like. Oh, it's in the actual download f file. Okay. Yeah, but uh, actually, let me just check it out. I crashed on a runway. It seems like impossible to land the P51 because it keeps bouncing off the runway and I'm gonna try to you apply brakes on it. It's need no, you need to slow nose. right down. Yeah, and turn down your prop yeah. pitch. I fell into my nose, but uh, I'm gonna uh, actually check it out right now. Alright, what's the name of the uh, file, the zip file? Is it FSX14D2? 
No, uh, the name of the file is F14 D FSX AV240. It's kind of a weird name. Okay. And when you click on it, there will be the effects folder, HD screenshots, repaints, and sim objects where which where the plane is. Ah, uh, there we go. It's, all, uh, it's in the original download file. Yeah. Yep. Looking now. Director plane. Grumman F14. No, I don't have it. Why? Wait. Where did you say it was? Uh, it was under the repaints folder uh, in the original download file. And you did say it's F14D FSX AV 220. 240. 240. Oh, I, I don't have version 240. Is that um, why? Have they updated it? Apparently, yes. Because, uh, all oh, right, um, much time ago that I downloaded it. Well, Maybe did that's I... the uh, that's why I don't I don't get reverse thrusters, also. Yeah, for team. Maybe they uh, right. Kind of well, I, I downloaded mine on the 17th of September. Maybe they have updated oh. it since. Maybe, yeah. Right. But the same principle stands. If you're going to add liveries, you've got to create a folder that's called texture. So they already have one in there and it'll have either a number system or a name. Um, but you also need uh, to direct it in the code, which is normally kind of come under uh, what, f what flight number it is. So in the normal code, when you look in aircraft config, they have things like uh, FLTSIM.0123. So they're all liveries. So you need to put the same set of instructions to direct it to the new texture folder. And then what it'll do is it'll add that as a variant with the uh, livery that you're actually putting in. So you need to create a folder for it called whatever you're calling it. Um, but if you look at the original one, it says it's called texture equals and it just has a number. But in the, the yeah. folder, it's just got texture dot and a number. So you need to create a folder called texture dot and then either a number or a name. And then in your code, you, you write texture equals. And it doesn't equal texture dot, it equals whatever the name you're putting in. So you've got to match right. what they've got. I actually did it, I did it to, to uh, actually four of the liveries that, uh, that worked and of, of course they came over pretty well. I also did it for the Sam Downers ones, but uh, they haven't worked because they are BMPs that couldn't be converted. I don't know why. Yeah. I, what I'm going to do actually you can, is download the deleted can, version of the Liga Porter. Yeah, what I would do is set it all up in FSX files first, put all the liveries in the in the correct name and everything, then re-import it. Yeah, so actually that I'm you, gonna do it. Oh yeah, you, you actually you have to do that because you need it to rewrite a JSON file. Or you could actually update it and rewrite the JSON file. <laughs> Look at um, you and Farfan games flying over the top of each other. That looks so funny. It's like one saw the other one coming and quickly got out of the way. Alright. Has updated. Uh community folder. I'm gonna do this real quick. Just delete the, the Alright, we've got twelve here. minutes. Thirty-nine nautical miles. I'm thinking that Bangkok Center nearest airport. What did I say my airport was again? Um VTSP. VTSP. I'm, I'm not actually going to look at it at the moment, I'm sorry. Uh, my stream suffers when I start watching people's uh, streams. Oh, that's okay. Uh, I just wait for. But yeah, at the end there. So do it all in the FSX original file first, then bring it over. 030 at 8. Well, there goes a P51.
Who is that? Retro Yeti is back in the P-51. Okay, cool. Alright, so I've actually uh, asked Phuket for landing permission. Just letting the other assessors know that. So I've jumped in quite early. And I'm landing on runway 9. So I have to make left. Traffic, runway 9. Altimeter. Let's just redo that altimeter, thank you. 29.85. winds at 030 at 8 knots so are we getting an almost headwind well that's pretty close look at that livery I can see that one you're chopping my tail off <laughs> oh that, that looks pretty cool all right so you got the black one okay cool yes I already do have that one is that the Argentine one I think it is yeah So who's wearing that livery? Hey, Mr. Humane, isn't it? Did you have that livery on the whole time, or did you just download it and put it in? Because that's pretty cool. But you would have had to spawn back in, I reckon. Alright, now there's a shot for you. Cha-ching! That'll drop me backwards. <laughs> I got four caravans all within view. Very nice. Good on you guys. Don't climb too much and I'll get another one. Very good. Oh, look at that island down there. Uh, it, they've obviously got a satellite picture of around the island, but not the water around that. Well that's a little weird. We're getting a bit of a thunder and lightning storm again. Whoa! Yeah, so we've got detail around the island but uh, not the rest of the water. That's a bit of a shame. Come on, we can do better than that. That's like early Google Maps. Alright, let's bring this uh, bring this in. Are we actually able to get inside? Thank you. There we go. Whoops. Move the mouse. Alright, 8 minutes, 27 nautical miles. What are we doing? 179 knots. And I haven't been watching my fuel. 27%! Oh, i got fuel to spare. I like having fuel to spare. Rather than... Well, Retro Yetis are now in a F-35 on freefall. I'm hoping that's the B version and you can actually do vertical lift <laughs> take off there. And you get out of view and I can't see you, so it's changed again. Okay. Where'd the other one go? There he is, down there. Make left. I don't even know where this runway is. Oh, we've got a thunderstorm here still. Alright, so it's on the other side of the island. Okay, thank you. And we're runway 9, which is going to be... Whoop. This one here, is it? 27. So I actually need to... Oh, make left. Yeah. Make left means I have to go around it. I'm going to be coming in around here on the water and then come in. And that technique is make right. I can't imagine you've got to go out, around, and then down. Hmm. Not sure about that. Why they would make you go around. Retro Yeti keeps changing planes. I do see you. You are uh, 
climbing, I'm not sure to make out what aircraft that is. Thinking it's something like a 787 or a 747. Might actually be the KC-130. Air France something rather. Oh, we're in tight formation now. Alright, i got to get a picture of this. Alright, where's the fourth one? Alright. Far fan games disappeared, got too close. Gone invisible. Alright, and I've lost... I oh, know, stopped for a moment. That's a shame. You gotta take those pictures when you can get them, I think. I've lost one. Where's the other one? above me. I lost it, Mr. Humane. Oh, there he is. Stop for a moment. Oh, he's come back. He's right there. Oh, we got some lightning and thunder happening here. Let's see if we can get all four caravans in one. Oh, froze for a second. Yeah, you disappeared. There we go. Everybody trying to get the <laughs> little level flight just all over the place. Uh, that'll actually make a good thumbnail. Although I've got a particular thumbnail for this particular uh, flight. Alright, let's bring that back in. So, I'm actually going to... Take my autopilot okay. off. You're back. Okay, welcome back. And I'm going to put in my heading. So the airport is at 320. So I'm going to take heading. Right, why am I not? Uh, oh, yeah, autopilot. Back on, thank you. Where is my heading? 310. actually bring that in at about three zero so I can come out from over the water. So I'm going to head now three zero. Had some nice sushi and dumplings. Oh man, you're making me hungry. Sorry. <laughs> sushi and dumplings. Yes please. We had chicken and um chicken dumplings. Chicken dumplings. Oh, come on, that, that is nice. Let's get a shot of that. There we go. Oh, I race forward, sorry. <laughs> when you take a photo, it sometimes races forward. Zero, 030 zero is what I'm going to be heading. No, 030? Zero, 030. Zero? Three, zero, zero. Because the airport is over there to, if you can look on my stream, that's the airport here, I believe. But I'm going to go out over the water and come down straight down, even though it says make left, which would mean going out around here, around there, and then doing a U-turn. Eh. Mm. Eh. I know Xing Shou. I got a flight of caravans. <laughs> I got a flight of caravans. I say, I say, I say, I see some caravans. Now I'm going to have to uh, descend as well. That's cool livery, that one. Mr. Humane. I was saving that one in case I got to South America in this. And Retro Yeti is back again in something I don't have the, the skin for, or the livery for. Yeah, I can sometimes see through the Concord windows. 
And it's still kind of gray, but... Whoa, that was a bit of lightning happening. Alright, oh, there's a Concorde going past me. Very cool. I am going to descend and try and line up this as much as I can with my autopilot. So I'm descending oh, to 2500, might actually get down to 2000, how about that? And the manual caching thing, it, I wish you could just choose high quality and then zoom out and scan a big area. <laughs> now you got to zoom in a long way, yeah. I did Las Vegas like that, but I'm going to have to redo it because they've updated it now. I wish, I mean, oh yeah. Retro Yeti, I think he's going into land. I did New York and then a lot of it over, and then medium around New York, and then... Yeah, so, yeah, I did um, the uh, Las Vegas strip that way too. Uh, all, all high quality right down the strip, and then medium around, and... Let's change our we heading. Got the like on the blue, like light blue. Pardon? The beaches, the, the Michael Python actually recognizes the ocean as a... Well, that's a sky, never mind. <laughs> Alright, better bring my plane back up to speed or I'm going to stall. I was just allowing it to uh, get down to 2000. Alright, so I'm doing most of this out of uh, the autopilot. I'm going to try, I probably can do some other landing stuff, so we want probably to head more towards, oops, synchronize here, Whoa. what did I press there? 360 now, thank you, yep, thank you. Bring it in, and then I want to probably runway nine. Oh, I got local. So that means I should be traveling at nine degrees. Is that right? Nope, I'm going to have to bring this in manually. It uh, probably is right, but I'm going to take too long to get around. I'm going to try to land the Concord one. Take it in manually. Oh, good cow. Red Blaze Bravo, Papa 2 0, clear to land runway Niner. Wing 071 at 7. I am clear to land. Thank you very much. Clear to land runway Niner. Oh, I can't slow down. <clears throat> Wait, does Concord have speed, right? Uh, reverse thrusters. No, I meant, um, when you're in air. No. No. No, you oh, really, no. you really got to be slowed down way yeah. soon. And oh, no, I found the when you use your flaps and your gear, they slow down nicely. Yeah, I'm slowing down quickly. I right. really long gear. Flaps came in quite uh, fast there, slowed me right down. Oh, I'll go out. I left the turn way too late. But I've got a far fan games in front of me who's going to make the uh, runway first. And an a U behind me. And it looks like Mr. Humane, with all his number ID, landed first. Very good. To be able to go and critique my landing as I come in. I'm coming on the other side, so I might... You might see a concrete ball right there. I'm going to use the next level of flaps <coughs> on this one. Oh, 
thunderstorm happening here. We're definitely doing a decent landing speed. We're hovering quite well. These caravans really do hover well. Yeah, they do. There's, uh, there's a bug that makes it really floaty. Oh, somebody just came in right underneath me. and do this from outside. That was not too bad. Alright, and I've got a Concorde in front of me. Alright, just as well you don't exist in real life. Okay, cool. Alright, I'm going to use some reverse. Thank you. Exit when able. I am exiting right here, and I'm not going all the way around because I got a small enough aircraft that I can do that. One two one decimal nine. One two one decimal nine. Red plays Bravo Papa two zero. All right, welcome everybody to Phuket. Swimming pool is already open. Drinks are on me. <coughs> Car park there, there's already a plane there. Oh no, it's in between. Okay, cool. Uh, to parking, thank you. Is it going to give me the same place? Find out. Sometimes it changes. I should have. Yep, yeah, no, same place. Okay, cool. What I should have had is my. Landing music. Oh, that Concorde coming in at me again. Well, I'm not going to go out and around in here. I'm just going to park it straight in here. Alright. Sit up my seat. Get the high chair happening. Concorde does really well. Alright. Left. Straight. Thank you. Bring it forward, yep, bring it forward, bring it, okay, whoop, oh, right, yep, oh my, in, in my day, there's a plane right there, and stop, thank you, engine shut down, I hear that, thank you, engine shut down, alright, thank you everybody for joining me, I'm going to turn off, turn off, and turn off, there we go, and then it'll actually uh, complete it, very nice, so three hours and four minutes, that was a bit of fun, it goes for a long time. Thank you very much. Uh, reverse is really strong on the Concorde. Yes, they are. All right. Um, other than that, I will continue another one on Monday morning. So that's Sunday for you guys, Sunday night. If you have a look on my Discord, there is a YouTube schedule now that I'm putting in some stuff. There will be some impromptu flyouts. You can join me in those. Uh, the next one that I will be doing, though, is Sunday morning. Unless I decide I want to go for a flight. Occasionally, I do go for joy flights, and I do record those, and I am uploading those soon as well. Um, I, I've got a 20 gig 4K video to upload at the moment. It just takes ages. But other than that, thank you very much for joining me, and have a great day.